Canadian clubs all round over there, and have one yourself, Michael. Cheers, Del. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, call it 25 quid for cash. OK, right, OK. Put it on the slate. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no slate, mate. Oh. I've had a visit from the brewery. Oh, all right. OK, look, there's a five of them. And, uh, oh, dear, would you, Adam and Eve it? I've only gone and left me wallet at home. <laughs> I remember now, Damien was playing with it. I was teaching him financial management, you know, how to avoid expensive pubs. That's all. <laughs> I'll sell them to someone else then, Del. No, you can't. These are second hand. Yeah, I'll sell them cheap then. All right, I'll give you a fiver for them now. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's the brewery. They've brought in this revolutionary new rule. From now on, customers have to pay for their drinks. <laughs> <laughs> these newfangled ideas. Hang about. Don't go away. <laughs> I have managed to lay my hands on these radically new designed hair dryers. Right? Now, normally they retail at 69 99 up in Regent Street. <clears throat> but for you, 15 nicker. Del, look at my hair. <laughs> I went with one of them. I've only got to stick my head out the window for 10 seconds and it's bone dry. <laughs> you see, this is different, cos this, look, see that? That has got what they call a volumizer on it. You see, that goes, gives all your hair and all that body and everything. Oh, so I could end up looking like Lily Savage. <laughs> Very tempting, Del. <laughs> Go on. I'm giving it to you, Michael, and I, eh? Hey? 15, Nick, I come on, me. Go on, then, gives it here. But you still owe me a tenner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'll tell you what, you're a bit of a gambling manager. I'll tell you what, I'll have a little bet with you, right? Double or quits, OK? Now, the thing is, <clears throat> if I win, I give you this fiver for this round of drinks. But if you win, I owe you a tenner. <laughs> you already owe me a tenner. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to lose then, have you? Hey? Right. Uh, Trig, just a minute. You'll like this, Trig. Watch this. <clears throat> a little bet we're having here. OK, then, Michael. I bet if you put your hands out in front of you, I can make you turn them over without touching you. You can make me turn my hands over without touching me. Exactly. It's called the power of positive thought. All right, off you go. Put your hands out in front of you. <clears throat> now, the other way. <laughs> See? Thank you. All right, here we go. Come on. Help yourselves, get now, it down, yeah. I have been in the motor trade for many years now, and until recently I never thought of the damage fumes did to our world. Now, let me explain to you my theory. Right, Mike, Th say me again, please, will you? Uh, just allow me to continue, <laughs> will you? Now, uh, this is my theory. The future holds the key to all our success. Well, you better not tell Raquel's dad that he's an antique stealer. <laughs> <laughs> now, re recently I have invested a lot of money in electric cars. Yeah, he bought Tyler a scale electric set. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking about model bloody racing cars, for God's sake. <laughs> Oi, Rodney, come on, get up this all round. Yeah. If it's the same as the last round, it'll be 25 quid. 25 quid? Mike? No. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> I can make you turn your hands over without touching you. Hey? I can make you turn your hands over without touching you. Go on, hold them out. Now, the other way. See? There you go, Dave. <laughs> 